Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've discussed the basics of what murder is, and now for something a little more specific. Is suicide murder? In order to arrive at any conclusions about this, we need to remember the basics of what a human right is. Back in episode 23, we described the nature of human rights, gave a list of human rights, and explained that every human right comes with its own obligations, that if we try to claim a right while refusing to fulfill our obligation associated with that right, it's hypocrisy. We also outlined that the first and most essential of all human rights is life. Therefore, we have an obligation not to murder others, regardless of what people do to us, or to our loved ones, or how difficult it becomes. If we murder people, we can no longer claim that we, or anyone else, has a right to live without becoming a hypocrite. When we think about it this way, our obligation not to intentionally take people's lives is even more important than our own continued life. However, when a person commits suicide, they are clearly intentionally taking their own life. Therefore, this is a violation of their obligation to the first of all human rights. Remember, our rights aren't something that we can dispose of any time we please, and therefore, of all the things that we can do with our lives, the thing we must never do is end them deliberately. It's basically the same as saying, I don't want people to have any rights anymore. Remember the steps of mortal ethics we discussed in episode 24. Step 1 was, what is this action? Is this action immoral by its nature? In the case of suicide, the answers are deliberate killing of a human being and yes. Now, as difficult as this issue may be to understand, because the life being taken is your own, there's another issue associated with it which is not as hard to understand. The issue of assisted suicide. Assisted suicide is a broad term used to describe a number of things from actually killing a person to just providing them with the means to kill themselves. Of course, in the case where you're actually killing the person, it breaks down like this. What am I doing? Deliberately killing a human being. Is this action wrong by its nature? Yes. In the case where you provide them the means to do themselves in, it does slightly better on the test. What am I doing? Giving this person some pills, slash a rope, slash whatever. Is this action wrong by its nature? No. However, that's still only the first step of mortal ethics. Step two is the following. What is my intention in performing this act? To help them succeed in murdering themselves. Whoops, your intention is for evil to be done. So this act is also immoral. In fact, all forms of assisted suicide fail the morality test on either the first or second steps for this reason. Ultimately, anyone who deliberately assists in an evil action does so because they're trying to get the evil action accomplished. There is one final kind of suicide dimension, and this is deliberate abuse of such things as drugs and alcohol. Anyone who does this to themselves might as well be killing themselves. It's just a slower means of doing so. But every time the person gets involved in their self-abuse, they're making the choice to act against their continued life, or deciding that they don't want to put any effort into protecting their life. Because of this, getting involved in drug abuse and getting other people addicted to drugs may both be considered forms of murder. So, in conclusion... Suicide is always murder and always wrong, and assisted suicide may or may not be direct murder, but is otherwise a form of indirect murder and still wrong. Assisted suicide always violates this commandment, whether directly or indirectly. Next time, what about euthanasia? Is euthanasia murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.